Hello people, my name is Ferdy and in this video I will show you how you can create a custom header using the Divi theme, like this. Or like this. I will show you both in this tutorial. We will optimize it for all devices and I will show you a few extra things that you can use to create amazing headers within the Divi theme. So let's get started. So right now we have a simple header. It looks like this when I scroll down shrinks a bit and that is made with the standard settings of the theme customizer over here at header and navigation but the theme customizer is a bit limited and i will show you how to create anything you have in mind that you can create with the divi builder but then in your header so let me show you how to do that i go to the back end divi theme builder then we can create a template and for now let me take a look at the home page on every page I see the same header. I want to change the header only for the homepage so we can see the difference. So I click on the plus over here, add a new template. For which page? For the homepage. So this template will only be applied to the homepage. Click on create template. Now I can create a custom header for the homepage. Keep in mind to save the changes over here, otherwise you will not see anything change in your website. So I want to create a custom header for the homepage from scratch. I can also add from the library, but I want to start from scratch. And now we can click on the plus over here and I can choose what kind of columns I want to have. Do I want to have one row or not? Well, normally you would say a logo at the left and a menu at the right. But what I want to do, I want to have a call to action button at the right side of the header. So I want to have three parts, not equally divided, but a small area at the left, small at the right, and a bigger one at the center. So I click over here. And now I can insert something over here. But before I do that, I close it. I want to go to the section settings. And there I want to create a background. Let's make it black. Then I want to go to advanced. I scroll down all the way and I go to the scroll effects. And when I scroll this header, I want it to stick with us. Awesome. I leave all the settings as they are. Then I go to design to spacing and I want to create a padding on uh, at the bottom at the top of zero. Awesome. So if I would save it, command S, it will not appear over here. Remember it should override this one at the home page, but it is not the case. Why not? I need to close it and then I need to save the changes over there. And now when I refresh the page, we have this beautiful bar. And when I go to a different page, let's say about, there's the normal header. I click over here. And that is because over here we said this custom header will only be applied to the home page. So I go back. I can go to the row settings, click over here, go to design and to spacing. And then I can say, you know what? I want to have a spacing of, let's make it 20 on top and at the bottom. Okay. I go up to sizing. I want to use a custom gutter width. That is the, the space between different elements or modules and bring it to one. Really important to do that. Great. And now over here, I want to add my logo. So I click on it and I search for an image and I want it to be a light image. So I click over here, my logo that is in white. Why? I want to have a transparent header. Command S. Refresh. There it is. And when I scroll down, I want it to be a colored header with a white background. Right now, nothing is happening. Why? We need to configure it. So we have the logo over here. And if I would go to the section, what I can do now, I see that the background is black, but now there's an extra option. We can click on this icon, the sticky icon. And when we select the sticky area, we can change the background. So what does it mean? When the header is not sticky, the background is black, but when the header is sticky, when I scroll down, it becomes white. Nice. We're getting there step by step. Okay, I go back to the logo, configure it a bit further 
I go to design to sizing and then the width of the logo, I want it to be 100 pixels. And then I find out that's really small. So I can also say 160 or increase it with my arrows up or down. I think 180 is perfect. What you see is not in the center vertically, but no worries, we'll take care of that or it will take care of itself. Yeah, it's, it's crazy what Divi sometimes can do. Divi sometimes takes care of itself. Wow. Let's think about that and ponder about that. Like, wow, how does it work? And what does it mean? Yeah, have you done it? Okay. I, I, I cut 20 minutes out of this video because I was thinking about that. And we have done that. We close sizing and we go to transform because here we're gonna make sure that when we scroll down, this logo will disappear and another logo in a different color will appear. So I go to transform and transform translate. And then I make sure I select I hover over here to the sticky icon. And when we are on the sticky icon, then I say, minus 100 percent tap and then i do something wrong because i need to uncheck this because this needs to stay zero so it sh should look like this this square on top of this line and we can save it command or control s let's take a look at what ha is happening i refresh the page and i scroll down and it disappears and when i come up it goes down again so far so good. So good. That's not even a song. Maybe I should make a song about it, but then I will focus on a different channel. Okay. Let's continue with the tutorial. So good. Yes. I can check this and now I can hover over here and duplicate it. Or if you can somehow not come here between all those hovers, you can click over here, go to the section row, the first column. And there you can duplicate the image. I click over here. So I go to the new image. And sometimes this does not appear and you need to close this one first and then it will appear. But you know, this will take care of itself. I click over here and I change the logo to the logo I want to use on a sticky state. It's a colored logo with a white background. Okay. Then I go to advanced scroll down. I go to position. I change the position from default to absolute. And if everything goes right, it will stay on top of the logo. Now I go to design, transform, and on a normal state, desktop, transform, translate, I uncheck this and I want this to be 100%. So this one goes down. So it's uh, below the white logo. But then on the sticky state, we click over here. I don't want it to be a uh, minus 100, but just zero. And look what happens now. Let's save it. Refresh. So this one pops up when I scroll down. And this one pops up, but I still see this area over here. How can I fix that? Well, for that, we need to go to the column area. Again, we can use this area. The, the layer and then I need to go to the row settings of the, of the first row, the first column, this area. And then I go to advanced, I scroll down. I go to visibility. I change the horizontal overflow to hidden. There it goes. The vertical one to hidden. Okay. Let's save it. Let's see how that looks. Refresh. All we see is that the logo is vertically in the center. So it took care of itself. And if I scroll down, the new logo appears and I scroll up, it comes back. I think this is really nice. Let's take it a step further. I go to the theme builder. I want to change the background color of the normal state. This one, the desktop state to transparent. And if I want to, I can go to design borders in the lower area, the bottom, increase it with two pixels and grab a white color, 
click over here on that white color and I change the transparency this one so it becomes uh, semi white now you see nothing because we have a transparent background everything is white we see the logo is white but now if I refresh this I scroll down it appears but we still do not see the result why now we need to go to this page to the home page and bring this up a little bit so I can enable the visual builder I can edit the header but I want to edit this area go to design spacing and here at margin keep it unchecked if I say minus look at that I can bring it up like that okay let me save it I exit the visual builder so now we see this line which we created which is semi-transparent when I scroll down the new area appears great I can do this all day and I really like that it's possible with the Divi theme without using any code If you take a look over here, you don't see that much anymore, but um, at design and transform, there are also other options, of what you can do, skew, rotate, so you can become even more creative with it. I want to get rid of the line. I just wanted to show you that it was possible. So I go to the settings of the section, design, border. And over here, the, the button border. Nothing. Save it. Refresh. So, so far, so good. Now I want to have a menu here at the center. Are you still having fun? I hope so. Maybe you're not having fun, but you just need to learn how to do it because you have a client. You said you can make websites and now you have a, a, a client and you are like, oh no, now I need to make a website and I need to learn how to do it. So. I go to YouTube and search for how to make a website and now you're finally there and found my video. And when you found my video, you're like, I'm not having fun, but I just need to learn how to do this. Well, I hope in that process, you still have a little bit of fun, at least, especially when things work out. That's always a fun moment when things work out the way you want it. So um, isn't there a song written about that? Um, I think so. doesn't matter. Um, what I wanted to do, I wanted to ask you to like this video and to subscribe for more upcoming uh, WordPress related tutorials, also about e-commerce, affiliate marketing, becoming a hot mail model. No, that was a joke. <laughs> okay, um, if you have done so or not, let's continue with the video. But we have a situation here on our hands. Over here, everything is transparent, so we cannot see the background. So what we can do, we can go to the section settings, go to the background, and for the desktop version, we can change it from completely transparent to a black version. And then not completely transparent. So that makes us see everything over here. Command Control S. And over here, you still see almost the same. It's a little bit darker, but, but we still can see how everything looks. So that's the solution. And we can... Put it back later. I click on the plus over here and I search for the menu. And I hope you have created a menu so far. Um, this is part of a big tutorial on the Divi theme. And in that tutorial, I created a menu. So let me go to the website. If you don't have it, go to the theme customizer. Go to menus, create a menu over here. So you can type this. Uh, however you want to call this, then click on next, link it to the primary menu like I have done and then click on add items and then over here you can create the home page, click on add, etc. Or you can watch my tutorial that is talking about that. So here is our beautiful, beautiful menu and I created the main menu, which is the menu I've created in my other tutorial. We don't need to use the logo. For the elements, we can use a link, but it's a little bit weird to use a link for a complete area. I want to link it to the specific pages. So 
I don't need this, but what I also do not need is this background. So I click over here and I throw it away. Then I go to design and at the layout, I want to bring the menu to the center. And when I have a drop down, I want it to be downwards, and not upwards. Then with the menu text and keep in mind, we're still in the sticky version. So it will appear over here. So we need to have a light text. So over here, I want to have a white color. Also for the active link color, I want it to be white. So when I would save it and would refresh it, it is white, but we cannot see this area over here. When I scroll down, it's also white. So there's enough to change. If I want to change the menu text for the sticky area, I hover over here and then I click over here and then I click on the sticky section. And then I want to have three, three, three. That's the active link color. Keep in mind, it's not the, the, the text, the default color. So I need to scroll down a bit and then also over here, sticky area, three, three, three. And then when it's active, I want it to be blue. Refresh, it's white, scroll down like that. And if I click on block, well, we don't see how that looks because then we do use a different layout. But the drop down is a mess, both here and not here. So I go back to the normal version. And then I want to close this or not use it anymore. You, you can change a lot of here. You can change the style. You can make it uppercase over here. Uppercase and small case like that. Underline things. But I'm okay with this. Drop down menu. So right now, the drop down menu, I see no text. So I go to the drop down menu text color and I make that 333. Great. And also for the sticky area. So the drop down. No, I think the sticky area was okay already. Let's see. And this is how you make websites. Just playing around. See how it looks. Okay. Scroll down. Still looks great. Okay. That seems great. And then there are all the other design options. For me, it's all fine. Then I click over here and I want to add a call to action, a button. And by default, it looks ugly in my opinion. So what I want to do, keep in mind, I want it to be white over here or a color. So first, let me change the text to get started. I want to link it to contact or to any page you'd like to choose over here. Then I go to design the alignment. I want it to be at the right and then the text dark or light. Well, I want it to be light because right now it will appear over here like that. And then let's take a look at the button, the text size. I want to make it smaller. 15 and the button text color. It's white is okay. And then the background, I want it to be dark blue. And then the button color also dark blue. I don't want to have a radius, so I want it to be square. So I bring this all the way down. I can make it capitals and then again, I want to make it a bit smaller below capitals or above capitals. I can change the font to Nunito and make it bold. I want to change the icon to this arrow and I want to show the arrow all the time. So below I uncheck this only show icon on hover no, all the time. And then I scroll down a bit again and I go to spacing. I check those and over here. I can increase the, the padding and then here at the left, increase it. But it is, um, it's taken the text as a center and not the arrow. So I want to uncheck this and at the right, I want to increase a little bit more space. 
So the text with the arrow is in the center. Okay. Save it. Refresh. Get started. Okay, it's too dark. So I go over here, design, button, the text, okay, but this color, a lighter one, and also of the border. When I hover over it, nothing happens. When I scroll down, it stays in the same color. So I can do a few things. Um, when I hover over it, I can give it an animation. So I click on the logo, go to design, scroll all the way down, go to transform. And then over here, when I hover over it, I can make it go a little bit up or down. So let's say minus five, uncheck this, make this zero. And it would look like that. Of course, I can change the background color when I hover over it. So I go to the button background over here, the, the globe, the hover, make it a dark one, or I can make the border white or both. So I refresh it and now three things will happen. look like this. I think I made a mistake because I have this border, but I only want to see that border color when I'm hovering. So let's see. Button. Yeah, I get it already. Okay. The color should be this one. And then when I hover over this area, then it should become white. So by default, it is the same color. And also here. So ladies and gentlemen, this is our header. And it goes with us wherever we go as long as we are on the homepage. But then there's the question again, how does it look on a different device? And I can tell you it looks ugly. Really weird. So let me show you how it is done. I go to the back end and over here, I want to create a new area. Click on the plus regular and I want to have one big column. I search for image and I click on it and I upload my logo. Let me see. I want to use a dark background and a white foreground, white logo. So I upload that one. Okay. Then I go to the section settings, choose a background, which is dark. And I can also see the logo better, which is quite a big logo. It's, that's not what I want. So I go to design, sizing, sorry, 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 spacing. And at the padding, I say zero and zero. Then I go to the image, design, alignment, and I bring it to the center and at sizing. Um, let me go to the tablet view and then at uh, sizing. Let me see if I'm at the tablet view. Yes, I want to make it smaller. Not a percentage, let's say 178 pixels. Perfect. Then I want to click on the green plus and now I want to have two columns like that. For the first column, I go for a menu. And for the second column, let me see if I want to know where the column is. I add a new module and I go for, no, I do not go for anything. I just duplicate this one. Okay. So over here I have a menu and over here I have a button. So let me save it. Refresh. Oh no, I have two areas. So if I make it smaller, it looks like that. They're on top of each other, stacked. So I want to do a few things. First, I go to the normal screen. I go to this section. 
advanced and at visibility i say you can hide this on a tablet and on a phone okay then i go to the second section this one advanced visibility and i say hide this on a desktop so now i refresh the page it looks normal and when i make the screen smaller you see our other header great okay let me, let's make this look better i go to the tablet view i'm happy with the logo and before i forgot forget over here below logo image there is a link i want to link it to the home page the same thing i want to do over here with both logos link it to the home page and also the second image link it to the home page really important save it okay back to the tablet view okay i click on the first module and then at the background i remove the background and i go to design layout well let's first um, change the icon color because right now i don't see the icon so the hamburger menu icon color is white okay now i see where it is i want this to be at the left how can i do that well at layout i make sure it's left aligned and then at the menu text I choose justify great then i want to go to the settings of this row with the two columns because they are stacked on top of each other but i want them next to each other so i go to this row settings I go to advanced and at custom css i say at the main element display flex that's it okay and I go to design, spacing, and if I would say zero and zero, you see the space becomes uh, narrower. So let's take a look at what we have so far. Here we have the sticky header. Why we make it smaller? There's no sticky header anymore. Uh, you see that this looks weird. I'm gonna fix that in a minute. I think there's quite a lot of space over here. And if I make it a smartphone, okay. Can look better but first um over here so i said uh no sp no uh spacing on top okay then i can go to the other row let me see let me see the second section so i can call this tablet mobile header desk top header so the top row design spacing if i would say zero and zero is really close to each other so let's say 10 on top we can make it 20 and then the second row design spacing if it's zero Okay. Save it. Refresh. Okay. Let's take a look at the mobile. mobile menu okay over here design spacing if i would say zero zero it would look like this so i will increase it or 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 maybe i'm not sure click over here and change it to this one so that should give me more space Let's take a look. Button settings, spacing. Let's see how far I can go. Okay, until that point. Uncheck them. Increase them over here. 
decrease it over here. Refresh. And now there, there's no space between them. So um, that's not what I want. If I go to the row settings, design, spacing, and then for the um, phone, I'll make sure we get a little bit of space. Okay. I go to the settings over here. Design drop down menu. If I want to, I can change those, change those colors to my wishes. Save it. Refresh. Right now we have this header. When we scroll down, it sticks with us and the logo changes and it changes back when I scroll up. When I make the screen smaller, we have this menu and it's call to action. And we'll make it a mobile view. Somehow the space is gone. So what I can do to fix that, I can also go to the upper row, design, spacing at the bottom, 10 pixels, refresh, and now it is better. What I see um, over here, it's perfect. Like this background is underneath the header, but I don't want it anymore on the device. So I can enable the visual builder. And then over here at layers, I go to the hero section, click on it, design, layout, sorry, spacing, minus 76. So it's uh, below this header, but for a different device, I don't want it anymore. So I say zero. For mobile, also zero. And what I also like for the mobile actually is that when I go, let me save it, exit the visual builder. I also want to save this, close this, and open it again since we adjust a few things. When I go to the tablet view, I want to have a border at the bottom. So I go to uh, border, bottom, two pixels and the color white and then make it a bit transparent. And it would also be, should also be the case on a mobile now. So let me see, a refresh, nothing happens over here. If I make it smaller, there's this line over here. When, I, on, when I'm on a mobile, there's also a line over here. It's not sticky. It's not what I want. So I don't want it to be sticky. So that's great. And when we go back to this one, looks like that. And then one more thing right now, there's a little bit of dark area. I don't want it anymore. So I click here. Go to the background and I make it fully transparent. Save it. And ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a menu. We'll make it smaller. We'll make it even smaller. We still have everything over here, our menu, our call to action and our logo. And it's not sticky anymore. If you want to learn how to create a website like this, that is mobile friendly, you can go to YouTube and search for Divi tutorial, or you go to 30corp.com tutorials, Divi. And there I show you step-by-step -step how to create amazing websites using the Divi theme. So if you're a beginner in Divi, this could be considered as a little bit of next level. So I will do my best to go slowly through it, but I want to show you what else is possible using all these principles I'm about to show you. I don't know if that sentence was correct, was correct, but hey, let's just do it. I have this template over here, 
beautiful. And if I want to, I can export this template over here. And if I would have a custom footer, I can also export the footer and the header at once. Clicking over here. But what I want to do, I want to copy this area and then it's not assigned. So I want to assign it to a specific page and it will be the contact page. I save it. And now if I go to the contact page, nothing happens because I need to save the changes over here on this beautiful green, blue, turquoise button. I refresh it and now there's the logo. So I want to edit this page, the contact page, and I want to use the Divi Builder. So I click on edit with the Divi Builder. Now I want to choose a pre-made layout. And when you do that, you need to fill in some details, uh, your Elegant Themes username and your API code. You can find them over here at elegantthemes.com. Login. Then at account, you can go to API keys and there you can find your API key. And then you can fill them in over here and then get access to all those beautiful templates. So it doesn't matter which one, I just need to grab something. So let's grab the landing page. I use this layout and probably this is the moment you need to fill in your details. Okay, there it is. So the first thing I want to do, click over here, go to design, sizing, sorry, spacing. And then at margin, I uncheck this, go into minus and make sure it is completely behind the logo, or the header. Minus 76. Okay, save it. And keep in mind that for different devices, we have the other area. So um, I exit the Visual Builder so I can see the results. So this is the result. Our same logo on the contact page, our same header. So now I want to customize this header and take a look at what else is possible. We're not going to focus on this area. That's already fine with me, but this area. So I go to this row. Then I go to design. This time I go to sizing. And then at the width, it says 80%. You know, let's go back and let's uh, create a small color. So we see what we're talking about. I go back to the row settings, design, sizing. So normally it's 80%, which is this uh, width, but I can change it for the sticky menu to 100. And then nothing will change because over here at the max width for the sticky area, I want to increase it to 100%. So if your screen is really big, then still this will be totally at the left and this will be totally at the right. And if I save it, I go back and I want to save it over here just to be sure. Now, when I refresh the page, I scroll down, it goes to the left and it goes to the right. Well, I like the ID, but I don't like how it exactly how it looks. I want this to have some spacing. So I go to the theme builder, to this row again, design. This time spacing and for the sticky area. So when we are at the sticky header, which is totally at the left and totally at the right, I want to uncheck this and at the left, I want to increase this with 20 pixels. So there's a little bit of space over here. I want to keep this one as it is. Okay. What I want to do now, I want to let this button become bigger, the whole size over here when I scroll down. Right now it's a small button, it's the same one. So how can we do that? Well, go over here to the column or to the to row settings, to the third column, and then at the background, I can make it this color. Now it's the same color as the logo. Okay, and then I want to go to the logo module, go to design, alignment, bring it to the center. Okay, so far so good, but it's not the whole space yet. Refresh. It looks like that. I want it to cover the whole area. How can we do that? I want to go to the row settings, design, spacing, and then at the sticky area, I want it to be zero and zero. Now we're getting somewhere. 
make sure it's 20 over here. That seems to be a glitch. Why is it? Okay. Oh, okay. 21. And then over here, zero. This should work. Yes, finally. Okay. That's what I want. Refresh. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Now I want to make this button bigger or this area. So I go to the row settings, to the third column, design, spacing, and then at the sticky area, I want to increase this. So the background stays intact. Let's say 20. Now we're getting somewhere. Refresh. Okay, that looks great. And then we go like this. Awesome. Except for two things. This is on top. So how can we change that? I go to the, let's see, the, the row settings, design, sizing, and I equalize the column heights. Great. Then I go again to the column settings and to the first column, I go to advanced custom CSS and I say margin auto. Yes, I always say it wrong. Margin without the G. Margin. Copy. Okay. Then the second row or column. Advanced. So I'm saying vertically everything should be in the center. At all times. So now refresh. Great. And now I scroll and look like that. That's what I want. And you see there's a small gap over here. So I need to enable the visual builder again for the contact page. Then I go to the layer area, go for the landing hero, go to design, sizing, sorry, spacing. And then I bring it back a bit further until that area in the background is gone. 78. Okay. Save it. And now from within the contact page, I can go to header template, but I'm already over here. So I don't do that. I need to do that. I go to the background and I bring it back to transparent. Save it. Exit the visual builder. So it looks like this. When I scroll down, it looks like that. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you had a ton of fun, or at least you learned a few things, maybe both. And then, um, yeah, best of both worlds, fun and learning. <laughs> for learning. Okay. <laughs> um, Feel free to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And uh, I have fun making those videos. So, um, and I'm making a lot of money with it. <laughs> so, having said that, let's wrap it up. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.